play on the attack for the Moccasins as well. That rounds out the starting 10 for both squads. And boy, folks, it is good to be back. That's for sure. Oh, it yeah. <laughs> So here's the matchup we're talking about here. This is Cam Weeks. Cam Weeks, had, coming into this game, had an 82% face-off win percentage last year, which is unreal. That was best in all of NCAA Division I, II, and III in all of history. He now moves to a perfect 19 for 19 on this young season. Defensive play made there by Craig Connor. Here's Jack Frazee the other way. Jack Frazee might be one of the fastest players on this team. He gets the clear done himself. Frazee winds, fires, save made there. Joey Heckle comes up with his first one, and now it's the Trojans coming back the other way. Garrett Hawkins right out in front, off the crossbar, and it's in. Bar down, goal. And goaltender here for this women's lacrosse team, and not much you can do on the point blank there. That's Jacob sure. Chiz wins this one cleanly. Chiz now shoots and scores! Jacob Chiz for the Moccasins! His first career goal! Now he'll hang on to it in a very dangerous spot behind the cage. The cutter there couldn't convert. That was Nolan Ty, the freshman. Sean Nolan still just toying with the Anderson defense behind the cage. Nolan ducks down and scores! Sean Nolan bullies his way through. Career goal, number one. 40. No. Let's the play develop and then makes his move. Finds his way through. And Sean Nolan, I mentioned, and another season with the Moxons, 149 career goals now. This one is struck loose. And now here's Cam Weeks. He's got a bit all alone. He shoots and scores. Cam Weeks. Anything you can do, I can do as well. And he gets his second goal of the game's first goal score. Has that one checked loose. Craig Connor will pick up the loose pearl and head back the other way. Craig Connor protecting the ball well and moving right down Broadway once again. He gets that one back checked out of his stick. And here come the Trojans. Clear attempt will begin with Taggart Houghton. And it will end here with Rex Hardy. Hardy, the midfielder, and the junior out of Wilmington. The shot here between the legs. He scores. And, folks, that is Matthew Rogers. It's effectively clearing, turning him into goals. It's 3-2 in the early goings here at Barron Field. Once again, it's Chiz working up against Cam Weeks, who wins it cleanly. Weeks with the feed, the shot. No, excuse me, the pass. Now the shot, and once again, it is Matthew Rogers. That was a sneaky pass. I Ball. Back behind the cage with Matt Flamenspeck. Flamenspeck working with Clayton Mensch there. That's a good pick, but nothing comes of it. Flamenspeck now for Clayton Mensch. Mensch to Flamenspeck, the two-man game. Flamenspeck's got an angle. He shoots and scores. Matt Flamenspeck finds an opening. Bring it ahead. Rex Hardy mentioned the junior out of Wilmington, North Carolina. Had that great deceptive pass a moment ago. This one comes loose, but getting able to hold on to it is Diego Lopez. Another shot down low. Matthew Rogers. As the first quarter hat trick showing the way. Sean Nolan now for Brendan Glasser. At the point, things settle down here. This is Medeiros. Andrew Medeiros will cut back to his left. Has a lane. Now looks behind the cage for Flam and Speck. Here's Jay Miner, the left hand rip. He scores! Jay Miner, you talk about him. It is Cook with it. He dips to the inside and had that pass deflected. Ball is still loose. The initial ground ball is picked up, but this one is still loose. Caleb Cook disrupts again. Nolan Ty is in on it. And it goes off of a Trojan defender. You mentioned the shot clock not playing too much of a factor, but now Mox only have 15 seconds left to, to make something happen here. Yeah, absolutely. Shot clock now down to 12. Here is a shot. That one goes wide, but just because it's a shot doesn't mean the shot clock resets. It has to be on frame. Nine seconds now to shoot. The inbound play, if you will. Sean Nolan, wrap around, he scores! Sean Nolan! Here is Bo Henson. He'll work it ahead for Logan Gaddis. Gaddis, Gaddis back to Henson. There's the shot, he scores. Matthew Rogers. A load of high. Bullier. He already has four goals in this game. Anderson's still a man up. Rogers fakes the shot there, opens up, score. Goal scored by Bo Henson. These two at the dot. This is the 10th win. I may have spoken too soon. This will... Ball is still loose. 
This will be the 10th win for Cam Weeks, but he turns it over immediately. And oh, look at that, a goal for Matt Flaminspeck. Look what I found. Boy, an illegal cross here to start the second quarter. For Matthew Rogers, he scores. Boy, this season. And Jacob Chiz breaks his stick. So the mocks now by, in essence, two men down right now. Shot here off the crossbar. It rings loose, though, for the Trojans. And now it's Bo Henson, Matthew Rogers. Here is Riley Zopfi again. Florida Southern finally gets one man back, so they're down just a man here. Jacob Chiz broke his face-off stick. Things just going badly for the Mox, and it only gets worse. Goal from Bo Henson. Anderson's hit a couple of those, you know, pipe, crossbar combinations there in the, in the second quarter here. Chiz will be released in five seconds. Rogers back to his left, now gets it loose for Hawkins. They'll continue the cycle. Shot here, they score. The bouncer in front, and it is once again Bushno. Freshman out of Myrtle Beach. Number 29 for the Trojans. One of the easier saves for Max Freestone of the day as Logan Gaddis' his bid gets knocked down. Now the Moccasins with steam the other way. That was Aiden Hickey making the clear for the Mox. Flamin' Speck with room. Fakes, now fires and scores. Matt Flaminspeck. I'm with you right there. He, they both, both guys kind of looked at each other, but nonetheless, it does not hit the twine. And so with five and a half to go, Caleb Cook comes up with the turnover here. Cook stays in bounds. Mox with a fast rush the other day. Sean Nolan. Oh, he gets lit up. That'll draw a penalty. Lucas Summers scores. Lucas Summers with his first. Again, no reason to believe that this shouldn't have been the ninth goal of the game for the Moccasins. It's a face-off win here for Cam Weeks, and he scores. So just like that, Anderson bumps it up to for one minute. So around the 216 mark, he'll be released. And so the Moccasins work it around on their true, really, I think, first offensive possession with a man up. Nolan works it behind the cage for Ty. Here's Cook. He fakes a shot. Back up for Jay Miner. Roby Show scores! Brighton. Trying to close the gap here at the end of the first half. That was honestly a great play by Miner to just let him get the ball. He knew that he was running out of space and he could force him out of bounds to honestly just get a new nine, or excuse me, 80, even though shot clock doesn't quite matter at this point. Well, that's because of the effort. I mean, speaking of which, here's Brendan Glasser down the right wing. He fakes a shot. Now inside looks, fires. Score! Andrew Medeiros! Nolan has it now. He is not going to be tested on the outside. Clayton Mench comes aboard with Caleb Cook. Ryan Robichaux scored his first goal of the game moments ago. Robichaux looking for his second. Robichaux inside, he scores! Oh, what a play! Brian Robichaux calls his shot, gets hit from behind, and hits the twine. Behind the play, the Mox will get their offensive personnel set here. Brendan Glassers ready to join the rush at the point. Sean Nolan still working down low. Nolan has room and scores! Oh, what a goal by Sean Nolan, the magician! Caught goal by Sean Nolan. Wing, he'll work against Hawkins. Medeiros will go behind the cage. Flam and Speck fake inside. Ball is struck loose, but still free for the Moxons. Sean Nolan, he gets upended again there by Jefferson. 15 seconds to shoot. The Moxes, Flamensbeck, fakes, fires, scores! That is Brendan Glasser. Find out here on Matt Rogers and company. Mox with a defensive stand. If you're just joining us, Anderson's starting goalkeeper, Joey Heckel, left the game right towards the end of the first half after making seven first half saves. Bryce Cheek entered in place of him, making a couple stops. This could be, oh, it's going to be a penalty on the defense. Jack Frazee draws it and score! It is Nolan Ty! This is Bitterman. Working against Aiden Hickey. One time bid here, they score. That was good ball movement by Anderson. And the Trojans now, right down the middle, is Riley Zopfi. 
Tic-tac-toe play in front did not have the finish. And another penalty here. This time it's going to be Wallace going to the box. Inside roll, fire, scores. Ryan Bitterman. Excuse me, two men up. A pair of slashing calls near the end of the third quarter. Here is Hawkins. Now worked around. Rogers with it from the left hand. That one is blocked. Blocked there. Mox working to get a big ground ball. There's three moccasins there. This could be free reign. It will be. Freestone comes out of the cage. They score. Well, that's just a risk management play. Knotted up at 14. Rogers gives it up for Bo Henson. Now back behind the net. Ball's on the ground. Quickly scooped up by Logan Gaddis. That one squeaks by. The bouncer hits the back of the net. Matthew Rogers has six. Shots that have gone wide and... Matthew Rogers. There's another one. That one was not wide. Not wide. <laughs> he picks the inside corner. The beautiful game of lacrosse on display here. Matthew Rogers has seven goals today. He's got the ball now. Rogers, the true freshman, leading his team. They are up by two in the final quarter of play against the 14th ranked Florida Southern Moccasins. Hawkins has it now. Worked around. Inside look, they score. Another one. Locked in penalty. That has really given the Trojans momentum. It's tough for Chiz, too, because now he's he's 2v3 on the faceoff instead of 3v3 to give him a fair chance. And the Mox called for a hold here, Griffin Phillips. And you said it, another win for Cam Weeks, who doesn't need any help. The penalty finally released, but not a moment too soon. Another one for the Trojans. The ground ball, and here comes Lucas Summers. Mox need a goal and quick. Three and a half to play. Summers. Gets that one tipped in the air. Ball is still loose. Coming up with it was Peyton Jefferson, and now the Trojans. Padron pumps the brakes, and the Trojans pull right back out. Matthew Rogers fakes the shot, puts one on net, and scores. There's also a flag on the play. Looked like um... in his left hand. Feeds inside for Sean Nolan. Nolan dips, dues, and gets stopped at the goal line, and... Waiting for the signal here. Sean Nolan. There's going to be a couple fouls here. And we'll wait for this to get sorted up. Ball still on the ground here. Eventually brought up by Jay Miner, whose last couple shots have gone wide. Miner shot. Now he scores. And so as time winds down, you see it there. The Anderson University Trojans. A hard-earned victory here today on Barron Field. They avenge the loss. They avenged the victory for the Moxons that they picked up a year ago on opening day today. The story, not the same. The Trojans use an eight-goal scoring run in the second half to upset the number 14-ranked Florida 